Hey, what's going on, guys? Looking for Mighty Reptiles. Here's my dad hey, and my grandpa. <laughs> He's looking at some young girl. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming to you guys from the America's Family Pet Expo in Costa Mesa, right? Right. And we're just about to walk into Repticon, but like I said, this is an actual full pet expo, so there's going to be dogs, cats, everything here. So you are actually going to be seeing more than just reptiles, but I want to get you the reptiles first, so let's go into Repticon right now. Hey, what's going on guys? We actually just got back, or not just, it mostly took forever because we were trying to figure out this new camera angle. Yeah, we thought we'd try some different angles. Uh, we got back an hour or two ago from the show. Had a great time. Mm -hmm. And picked up a handful of snakes and actually have set ourselves up to be picking up some more tomorrow because we uh, couldn't carry them all today. Not snakes. Though. Oh yeah, not snakes. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting, yeah. Stay tuned for that one. But, um, so yeah, now we're going to actually introduce you to the ones that we did get this time around. They are all from Ken at OC Balls. Right. Um, so definitely check out his Facebook page. It's just um, OC Balls. I don't know if there's dots in between or not, but I'll leave it down in the description below. We'll, we'll take a look at it, but yeah, it's OC Balls, like Orange County. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we got, we got some nice stuff. So yeah, before we actually get into introducing these snakes, what did you think of the show today? Uh, it was definitely more of an off-season show. We've talked about in the past how, you know, that was the problem, one of the problems with the Victorville show that I complained about before. But uh, it was an off-season show. There weren't as many balls. Um, it was definitely a smaller show, but there was some quality there. We had a good time. Yeah. Uh, Logan, and Randy uh, from Dark Cloud was trying to work Logan pretty good. <laughs> um, and we came close to getting a snake from him. Ended up doing something else instead. Yeah. And uh, then we uh, we talked to Ken. Um, what did you think of it? Um, I really enjoyed the show. There was a lot of variety, as you guys probably saw in the um, in the actual um, cinematics that I took while I was there. There was a lot of interesting stuff there to look at. Yeah. Um, whether it was the chameleons or they were emerald tree boas, we were thinking that they were green trees, but they're not. They're emeralds. What's this week in the summer? <laughs> um, and then they had um, all the different skinks that are now a thing. There's blue eyed, black eyed, red eyed, um, really cool stuff. And even though he wasn't vending, we saw Dragon Herp there, which was kind of nice. Um, yeah, that's he did say he didn't have enough um, left to to uh, vend with, but uh, yeah, they didn't. They didn't tell him until the day before. Well, no, there were there were several problems. One was that. Most of his snakes are pretty much the same thing right now, what he has left over. Mm -hmm. um, he was on the waiting list, and then they told him the day before that there was finally a, a boot for a table for him. Yeah, and he could not and pack I, up in time. Yeah, so uh, he said, you know, I just don't have enough snakes here to even bother with anyway, so, so forget it. But uh, yeah, we saw him there. Um, who else? Jonathan from 808. Yep. Was helping out. He wasn't bending himself, but helping out. Yeah, it was. It was definitely really cool. There was also some new vendors there. 
Um, I didn't get any clips of that, um, but somebody that I didn't recognize was there. Um, they had a $150 fire. Yeah, oh, nice. yeah it was a steal. Um, however, um, I think the reason I didn't get a shot of it is because I'm pretty sure it was a normal too. Yeah. <laughs> I um, saw that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, just some interesting things there. Then, of course, there are sensational pets where I'm actually going to have to go tomorrow and actually pick up some stuff there. To, to, um, it's a little bit of a pet shop location, but they also have their own um, animals that they breed. So if you're looking for, you know, cheap hides, there's stuff there like the good looking ones that are like, they look like rocks and then you can pull the top off um, to get the snake out. And then um, try to think anything where it's like tanks, the under tank heaters, um, decorations, all that stuff they have that there. So you might as well tell them why you're looking at that kind of stuff instead. No, they'll find out. Okay. Uh, you're gonna do that uh, tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Right. I'll take them shopping with me. We planned this out really well. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> this is all being just just random. Yeah. And we're toasted. We were there a long time. Yes. Anyway, um, so shall we get them out? Yeah. And now let's actually introduce you to the animals. Let's get to it. All right, so here we got the first pair. These are actually sisters. And like I said before, they are from Kent at OC Balls. And why do we always get sisters from Kent? Well, we've only done it twice. We've gotten a fair amount of snakes from them. It's just every time we always get clutch mates. Um, but these girls are identical, um, just not in weight. That girl actually made herself right at home and left a proper turd in her tub. Yeah, she broke it in already. So yeah, let's get her close to the camera and let's get her focused in so you can see just how pretty she is. Yeah. There, she's showing off. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty girl. All right. There you go. And now, here's mine. And she is very, very pretty. So now, here's your turn to guess what they are. Um, I think you guys will be very excited to hear this one because they are two female mystics. Um, so they will be perfect for anybody that is actually um, aiming to get some mystic potions going, just like how we got them going. Yeah, very cool. Made up with your Mojave or Super Mojave boys. Exactly. Um, so yeah, now let's go ahead and pull out the next pair. Alright, so once again, these girls are sisters as well. Um, they are single gene with a 66% head. So I'm gonna let you guys know the codom in just a couple seconds, and then I'll let you guys know what the recessive is at the end. And um, let me go ahead and show you why I actually chose these girls, because both sisters are like this. That girl likes to run a little bit, so we don't know if we're actually gonna get her to focus up on the camera. But go ahead and look at this girl here. So she has a very, very pretty pattern when it comes to the spider gene. And the reason I chose them is, look at that dorsal stripe here, how it's just so bright, and it just sticks out from the rest. But then they still have really good gradient pattern when it actually comes down here, and, it, and the pattern actually goes down all the way to the belly. And that will reflect if you were to take this to make it like a bumblebee or an exanthic spider, stuff like that, because the yellow of the bumblebee or the silver of the exanthic, it actually takes over this pattern here, this, this kind of brown. So when, taking this to an exanthic this dorsal pattern here how it's so expressed is going to be a really good white and then it's going to have a lot of silver to back it up and then with the bumblebee it's going to be really bright yellow and i think that's going to be really cool so yeah that's why i chose this girl and let's see if she's going to behave there she is ah pretty yeah she's a pretty girl too this one goes 155 grams the other one's 185. This She's been much better than she was earlier. Okay. So yeah, these girls are both spiders and they are 66% het for albino. So if you guys remember back when we first started this channel, we had an albino spinner and an albino spider and they were both just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, so if you don't know what those morphs like, uh, look like, I definitely recommend that you either look them up on Google or um, go back to our old videos and look them up because that's a really pretty morph. And it wouldn't take much to actually get there from here. No. Nope. Gotta prove them out, of course. But. So yeah, 
Um, now to get back to the last one. All right, so this last one is actually a clutch mate to um, the previous two that I had shown you, but this girl's a little special, and I'm gonna show you guys why. Um, so we still have the last girl here, um, so that we can show you her. But here, I'm gonna see if you guys can spot it before we show it off. So let's see if she will behave for me. So let's go ahead and look at all of her pattern. Oh, come on, baby, it's okay. All right, do you guys see it? She has a reversed head stamp for that spider right there. Can you come in and show them the other head stamp for, show the contrast. See, look at that. Rather than the dot, she has a full little like cross outline. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. So that's why we chose her. And then on top of that, she has the dorsal stripe that I like and the coloration I like. This girl is just absolutely gorgeous. And she is also a spider, 66% head albino. So yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. And I, I love her pattern. So yeah, that is all the animals that we got today. We are going to be picking up some really cool ones tomorrow. Um, so yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. How far are we from 4K? Mm, we were 3470, I think, something like that. Yeah, so about 530 away from our next giveaway. So if you're new here, please subscribe. There will be more tomorrow, and the and we're gonna aim for every other day. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, but since it is an expo, you guys will be getting one two days in a row. So yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, yeah. Thanks.